What is going on guys? Madden season is upon us. So you know what that means. It's time to discuss all the ratings. The team ratings for Madden 2021 definitely came with some question marks. Some of the elite clubs were completely ripped off in their ratings, whereas some clubs received ratings that were way too high for reasons unknown. Here are five NFL teams who are totally overrated in Madden 21 and five who are underrated. Number five, overrated. Las Vegas Raiders, 81. Given how much talent they added this offseason, one could justify the Raiders rating of 81. However, when you consider where they rank compared to the rest of the teams in the league. That's where the questions begin to trickle in. For starters, there wasn't a single team rated in the 90s, which is baffling. There were nine teams rated ahead of the Raiders. John Gruden and company were tied with six other teams for the 10th best overall rating. That's just puzzling. It's kind of weird, actually. I'm super confused. I have no idea what's going on. Madden, explain. Sorry, but you can't quite say the Raiders are a top 10 team in football just yet. Yes, they made a plethora of offseason splashes. Gotta love the Corey Littleton signing and the draft selection of Henry Ruggs. But come on, these guys aren't better than the Seattle Seahawks, Tennessee Titans, Houston Texans, or Minnesota Vikings. That's right, the Raiders coming off a third straight losing season were rated higher than those four teams who made the playoffs in 2019. We'll happily tell you that the Raiders are a sleeper team in 2020. They could very well sneak into the postseason, but place them in a tie for 10th overall here? Come on, EA Sports, you know you can do it. Pretty easily too, just a click of the button, or you know, typing some stuff and then I click on the button. You know what I'm saying? Just change it, please. Thanks. Number five, underrated, Arizona Cardinals, 79. The 2020 offseason darlings were robbed here, big time. The Cardinals were rated 79th overall, tied for 21st with the Atlanta Falcons and Los Angeles Rams. But the especially laughable part was the 79 overall rating in team offense. Uh, hello? 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 Anybody home? Hey, think with fly. Didn't Kyler Murray win the Offensive Rookie of the Year award last season, the Cardinals finished a respectable 16th in scoring offense last year. Murray is naturally going to be better as he grows. Oh, and in case you forgot, the Cardinals traded for DeAndre Hopkins, one of the top five receivers in football today. You don't think he might make a bit of an impact in that offense? Not to mention the Cardinals have a full season of Kenyon Drake, who starred in Cliff Kingsbury's offense after arriving in a midseason trade. Add it all up and you have the makings of an offensive juggernaut, one that should, you know, not be rated at 79. These Cardinals will be a playoff contender in 2020. Even if they don't qualify, you know the offense will be an extremely potent unit. Couldn't Madden at least given the offense an 85 or something? Then we wouldn't have to complain about this much. Number four, overrated. Los Angeles Chargers, 81. Like the Raiders, the LA Chargers are among the seven teams with a rating of 81. And like the Raiders, the Chargers simply shouldn't be tied for the 10th best team rating. The team went 5-11 and 11 last year. Bad enough for last place in the AFC West. They moved on from franchise legend Phillip Rivers, who signed with the Indianapolis Colts in free agency. Yeah, the Chargers are loaded with stars all over the place. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and Austin Eckler on offense. And the likes of Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram, Derwin James, Desmond King, and Casey Hayward on defense. But the Chargers have a very questionable quarterback situation. Is journeyman Tyrod Taylor good enough to get this team to the playoffs? If Taylor isn't the answer, are you confident in rookie Justin Herbert, who will need some time to develop? The Chargers have so much star power here. But there's a major question mark at the most important position in football. We're on board for the team's defensive rating of 85, but this team shouldn't be anywhere close to the top 10 in overall rating. Number four, underrated. Green Bay Packers, 81. Okay, hang on. How are the Packers tied with the Chargers and Raiders? Two non-playoff teams from 2019. Didn't these guys just win 13 games en route to the NFC Championship game? Come on. The Packers were a Final Four team in 2019, but they're somehow tied with six other teams for the 10th best rating in Madden. Yeah, okay. It's pretty mind-boggling, to be honest. The team offense was rated at 83, which is fair. But the defense was only rated 79, despite being the driving force behind their NFC Championship game appearance. How does that make sense? Many are picking the Packers to regress in 2020. I mean, yeah, the Jordan Love and A.J. Dillon draft selection took many people by surprise. But as long as Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback, the Packers remain the team to beat in the NFC North. They'll be a prime Super Bowl contender once again in 2020. So, somebody please tell us how this only justifies a team rating of 81. I would love to hear an answer, but you guys cannot do that through this camera that I'm talking into, so comment down below. Number three, overrated. Cleveland Browns, 81. Yeah, 
Uh, the Browns are on the same rating level as the Packers, but while Aaron Rodgers and company are extremely underrated, the Browns join the Chargers and Raiders in the list of 81 teams who are rated way too high. Now, we really want to believe that the Browns will bounce back in 2020. Frankly, I just think it was their coaching. I think they have a lot of talent and potential. I mean, they simply can't be as bad as last year. New head coach Kevin Stefanski and GM Andrew Barry, who quickly rebuilt this horrendous offensive line, give Cleveland fans great reason for optimism. But after last year's debacle, we're still cautious in picking the Browns to make the playoffs. You can't put the Browns in the top half, and you can't place them in a tie for the 10th best rating. Their offense comes in at 84 overall. Even though Baker Mayfield threw 21 interceptions last year, and Nick Chubb was the only consistent player on that unit, even if the Browns rebound and win somewhere between 7 to 9 games, it'll not be enough in a division that features the Baltimore Ravens and Pittsburgh Steelers. These guys should have to earn a top 10 rating first, before Madden goes ahead and gives them one. Number 3 Underrated San Francisco 49ers, 84. The defending NFC champions are only 84. Four, even though they got better by adding future Hall of Famer Trent Williams and rookies Javon Kinlaw and Brandon Ayuk. Okay then. In comparison, the Los Angeles Rams, coming off a Super Bowl 53 appearance, received an overall rating of 85 for Madden 2020. And everybody knew they were bound to regress. Whereas the 49ers won't regress much, if at all in 2020. They still have to be considered among the top two teams in the NFC this season. Jimmy Garoppolo received more criticism than he deserved for the Super Bowl 54 loss to Kansas City. But he's only going to get better in his second full season as a starter. Kinlaw and Ayuk will make immediate impacts, and that front seven will be as ferocious as last year, if not better. The 84 rating makes no sense to us at all. The 84 rating on defense is also very questionable. These guys should be way higher, somewhere in the 90s at least. They just went to the Super Bowl. Like, what are you doing? Number two, overrated, Philadelphia Eagles, 83. The Eagles barely snuck into the postseason last year by winning a laughable NFC East division with a 9-7 record. Sure, the additions of Darius Slay and rookies Jalen Rager and Jalen Hurts will help, but are you sure the Eagles are in the class of elite teams? The Madden makers seem to think so. The Eagles are tied with the Dallas Cowboys and Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the fourth best overall team rating at 83, and their offense is rated 87, which is tied for second highest with the Chiefs, behind only the Saints at 88. Why does Madden have so much faith in this Eagles team? especially their offense. We're not so sure. After all, Philly is coming off its second straight 9-1 season, and they clearly lack weapons outside Carson Wentz and unproven sophomore Miles Sanders. Are we to believe that injury-prone wideouts Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson are still superstars? Even if Philly's core players stay healthy, they're not better than the Packers, Chiefs, or Seahawks. I mean, they're not even on the same level anymore as the arch-rival Cowboys, despite identical overall ratings from Madden. Argue all you want, but you can't have the Eagles rated higher than the Chiefs overall. The Chiefs just won the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Bowl that is super. Why are they rated higher? <laughs> Madden. What? Dude, this game, this is the same game they release every year with shitty ratings. Like, it's not even different each year. And they certainly can't be tied with the defending Super Bowl champions on the offensive side of the ball. Sorry, that's just, it's just inexcusable. It's downright stupid, actually. Yeah, Philadelphia won the Super Bowl three seasons ago. Let's cool the expectations a bit. Let's see if they can stay healthy and snag a division that includes a vastly improved Dallas team first. Like, again, it was three years ago. Yeah, that's dope they won, but they're not exactly the same as they used to be. And that was also Foles that won the game for them. So, ugh, I don't even, like, what are you, what are you thinking? Like... Number two, underrated, Baltimore Ravens, 84. They may not be the defending Super Bowl champions, but the Ravens have the reigning MVP in Lamar Jackson. They had the NFL's best record last season at 14 and two. They also have by far the best defense in the league. So can someone explain the 84 rating? We're fine that they're behind the top rated Saints at 85. But how can the Ravens, arguably the most complete and talented team in football, be graded this low? The offense was only rated 85, and the defense was disrespected big time with a rating of 84. That ferocious unit added superstar Calais Campbell and Derek Wolf. Don Martindale's defense should be even better in 2020. And that's a scary thought for the rest of the league. Here's a thought, Madden. Let's bump up the offense, defense, and overall ratings somewhere into the 90s. I mean, they only scored the most points in the league last season, and their defense is going to be lights out as always. Shouldn't any team that won 14 games a season ago be rated in the 90s? I think so. Why don't you, Madden? Number one, overrated, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 83. Sorry, but no, 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 definitely no. Hard no, nine, no. There is no way. 
The Buccaneers can share a tie for the third best team rating with Dallas and Philadelphia, ahead of Seattle, Green Bay, Buffalo, and Houston. Okay. Yeah, the Bucs added two future Hall of Famers in Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, they'll be must-watch television in 2020. I'm not denying it. I'll, I'm going to watch probably every game because this is the last chance we're really going to get to watch Brady and Gronk probably, so, you know, maybe they got one more season after this, but you know I'm watching it. But still, Brady is entering his age 43 season, and this time he doesn't have Bill Belichick at his side. And Gronk? I mean, he just looked like a shell of his former self in 2018. Not sure a one-year hiatus will bring back his all-pro form. Tampa Bay will be a lot of fun to watch, but they're a wild card team at best. They're certainly not on the same level as the Saints, 49ers, Packers, and Seahawks in the NFC. You could argue that the Cowboys, Eagles, Vikings, and Cardinals are all better too. The Bucks probably aren't a top five team in the NFC, and yet they scored a tie for the fourth best team rating in the entire NFL. I'm sorry, but I'm not buying it. It's way too high, way too high. They're gonna be better in 2020, but not that much better. Number one underrated, Kansas City Chiefs, 82. When you're the defending champions, the defending champions, you just won the Super Bowl, the bowl that is super. And when you're bringing back almost every starter from your Super Bowl team, you need to be rated number one, or at least close to it. How in the world are six teams rated higher than Kansas City? And how are they only rated at 82? For Madden 20, the Philadelphia Eagles were the highest rated team at 89 overall. The defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots had a rating of 87. Even the Chiefs themselves had an 84 rating last season. So somebody please tell us how Patrick Mahomes and company only come in at 82 overall in Madden 21, following their impressive championship campaign. Pain. The offense was rated at 87, even though they should be in the 90s. The defense was rated at a laughable 77, even though they were one of the NFL's best last season. But sure, yeah, place the Super Bowl champion at 82 overall. Put six teams ahead of them. Mahomes and company have to be laughing at this. It'll only give them some added motivation as they look to repeat as champs. Who do you think is the most overrated team in Madden 21, and who is the most underrated? Join me in the comment section below. Go and follow myself and TPS on social media, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, we are on everything Twitter. Go find us, go subscribe, go follow, because we post content all the time. Of course, like this video because it just really helps us out, and we really appreciate it. Subscribe to TPS because we post videos every single day. Every day is a new video. Why would you not want sports content every day, especially when there are no sports? This is the content to be coming to, so subscribe. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you, and uh, yeah, have a good day. I'm Jason Biondo. Goodbye. My knee. <laughs>